Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to set up Vue.js in Visual Studio Code. At the first step, we need to install Node.js. Go to your browser and search for Node.js. and Click on the first link and here download the LTS version. After your download is complete, go to your downloads directory and double click on this Node.js file. Hit run. Let me minimize this. All right. Hit next, hit I accept the terms and hit next. Leave the address as default and hit next and next and next and install. And wait until installation is complete. All right, and let's check if installation was successful. Click window R on Windows and search for CMD, type node-v. Great, if you see the version number, the installation was successful. Next step is go to your browser and search for view installation. Well, this is a site that we need. Go to the part installation view CLI, click on it. And here there's a command that we need. This one, npm install dash g view CLI. Copy the command and on Windows, click window R and search for CMD and open your command prompt. Paste the command here, hit enter. All right, and wait until your CLI is completely installed. Great. After it's installed, let's go to the directory where we want to create our project. I want it to be, my, to be on my desktop. Run the command view create and then the name of your view app. I want it to be my view app. Hit enter and wait until your app is created. This as default and here use npm. All right, nothing else to choose. Great, our app is created. Now let's go to the directory where our app is. Mine is my view app. And run this command, npm run serve. This will serve our app on this URL. Copy it and paste it to your browser. Yeah, this is your first Vue.js app. Let's open our app inside Visual Studio Code. Open your command prompt and go to the directory where your app exists. Mine is on my desktop and then CD my view app. And then code dot to open it with VS Code. You can do it manually. Here go to source and app.view. Remove everything inside template tag and simply add an h1 tag and inside the h1 tag let's say hello view refresh the page and yeah that's all thanks for watching